okay, Alex, this is the last one. And we're going to get to the DNS propagation like we had talked about. And then we'll finish up and I'll get you out of here back to yep. dinner with your lovely wife. So the DNS propagation happens last week, correct? Yes. There was, there was a transfer over from, from your website and your app. Uh, and there was going to be some upgrades or something that you guys were going to do. So you contacted GoDaddy and said, hey, we need to update this. Sure. There's going to be a DNS propagation. And the site went down for 36 hours, something like that. Although, I will say this, YouTube also went down and a lot of other uh, uh, websites did go down. So I know from experience, because I've done this myself on my websites, uh, when I call GoDaddy, because I use GoDaddy too, uh, and uh, I say, uh, hey, I need to upgrade. Sure, it's going to be a DNS propagation. How long is it going to last? They'll tell me it's going to be between 24 to 72 hours. Make sure you tell your people because it will be down. So I told them seven days, five days, three, two, one, day of, 24 hours, and when it came back up, which was actually 36 hours. So bring us through that whole thing with as many as little details as you get. Yeah, so thanks for the opportunity. And, and uh, there's no question that we should have uh, announced the maintenance window earlier, that we should have communicated the possibility that there will be propagation. We didn't even think there was propagation, but... Uh, uh, there was uh, again these are actions that actually GoDaddy took not that we took that caused the propagation and because GoDaddy detected some things internally that are related to them not to us they decided to lock down the account right so they locked down our account we didn't lock down our account and when we reached out to them normally like as you know you, when you reach out to them they, re they go back to you in an hour and so on but Something happened inside GoDaddy, and that's why Uniswap was down and Liquid was down and a bunch of other sites were down. And, and so it's not just something that happened to Celsius, right? It happens that Celsius did maintenance on the DNS exactly at the same time. Mm. But something else was going on inside GoDaddy, and we're waiting for them to tell us what and how and so on. But there's a big difference between us and uh, Liquid and Uniswap and others. And the, the difference is that there is nothing you can do on the Celsius site. You cannot put your password. You cannot withdraw coins. You cannot transact. You, do, you can't do anything there, right? It's just an informational site. And everything that happens, happens on the blockchain and on our app, which are completely separated and segregated from our website. So because of that, everybody who's watching this can be assured that none of their information was compromised, right? So again, if you look at the point where BlockFi was compromised, right, where everybody, where, where the hackers stole all of their passwords and all the names and all of the balances that people had, uh, which is what was reported in Cointelegraph and Coindesk and so on, uh, that was because that site accepted all that information and the hacker managed to get it through, right? So, mm -hmm. so th there was definitely an event here. Uh, uh, we should have uh, informed people better. It's, uh, the, the site was shut down because GoDaddy wanted to make sure that there was no hack, there was no penetration, there was no illicit activity uh, but there was definitely a brute force attempt uh, on the celsius.network site meaning somebody tried to break the password go down and shut it down because they had other things happening with other sites and and as you saw liquid had a problem and so on uh, they had a major problem right celsius was, didn't have any problem because again there was nothing to steal so that's the kind of like the the quick versions and we're still waiting for that report and I hope to publicize it the minute we get it. Unless Godaddy tells us you're not allowed to, <laughs> we will uh, publicize the report. Well, I will just say this. Uh, some other places may be a little bit more quick to rush to appease the uh, users. So I'm glad that you kept it locked down for that amount of time. I've already had my data breached in other different places, uh, Equifax being one of those places. So uh, thanks for uh, not making those huge uh, mistakes. So again, Alex, thanks for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. And I will just say this, that there are two things that I always uh, liked from not just your company. I like your company. I like you. And I actually believe in you, what you're talking about. But when you say you must first do good, then do well. That's a great saying. I think it's, it's good for everybody. And there's another thing you talked about as far as like life. There should be something that you uh, look forward to. There should have goals and someone to love. And those three things are pretty much a secret to life. So those two things, uh, I appreciate uh, the wisdom that you pass on. So again, thanks for coming to the show. Really appreciate it. Anything else we should know? Or is that uh, we cover everything? We took, I think we went like an hour. 
someone to love, something to do, and something to look forward to. Yes, those are the three. You got those three. You don't. You shouldn't be worried about anything else. Uh, look, I, I I wish everybody health. I mean, this is a very difficult time for everybody, especially like you in Houston. It's being hit pretty hot, pretty badly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, hopefully, we next time we meet, we'll be talking about uh, you know all the great things that are going on instead of worrying about our health and <laughs> and 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 the things that uh, you know all all of the things we just talked about are completely uh, irrelevant in the context of uh, keeping your health and. And, uh, you know, and your family and everything else. Very true. Without health and family, what do you have? Absolutely nothing. All right. Alex, thanks. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for having me. This was interesting. Cyber criminals attack GoDaddy-based crypto platforms. So this was just released half an hour ago. And it talks about this. Security research, Krebs on Security, reported that several crypto platforms hosted by GoDaddy have been attacked over the past week. So... Here's what happened. On or around November 13th, that's a, that's critical. On or around November 13th, crypto there was some attacks on different crypto trading platforms, liquid.com on as well as other ones. Liquid CEO Mike Kiyomori said GoDaddy incorrectly transferred control of the account and domain to a malicious actor. So let me get this straight. GoDaddy which holds everything transferred over to a malicious actor, all the DNS entries, all the different data points over to somebody else and just gave him, gave him the keys to the castle. That's amazing. The move allowed a malicious actor to change DNS records, internal email accounts, um, and blah, blah, blah. So there was that one. The second victim was a mining service called NiceHash, and they discovered on November 18th that some of the settings for the domain registration records were changed without auth briefly redirecting email and web traffic for the site. That's dangerous. So what they did was they froze all the customer's accounts and they said, hey, you need to uh, restore or change all your passwords, also your two-factor authentication uh, for Google. So this is GoDaddy. And it made me think about the interview that me and Alex had where he talked about, it was the very last thing, 42 minutes in, what happened with the Celsius website and app crash and the GoDaddy DNS propagation. He told me something interesting about that one. He says, we had to shut it down because there was an issue with security. We didn't know exactly what it was, but we shut everything down to safeguard our customers. And it was the 100% correct right thing to do now that we're looking at this article. So he even talked about it in the interview where they are waiting for an assessment report from GoDaddy and they may or may not uh, be able to release that but this looks like at least partially what it could be i'm not for sure but just as a point of reference this actually happened on november 12th this is when alex said hey there's some problems with the website and it's down and blah 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 right so what this article talks about is it happened on or around on or around november 13th so november 12th is within that realm of possibility and it looks like this is potentially what it could have been which makes me trust celsius a little bit more because they made the right decision as opposed to maybe somebody else in other situations who would just be like nah it's okay let it go because we don't want to upset the customers well sometimes uh you got to be a little bit uh, heavy-handed and that's uh, that is what it is so I just thought it was an interesting piece, and uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Also, before we take off, I want to talk about the Bitcoin family. If you don't know this guy, this is Diddy. And remember that story about a family who sold their house for Bitcoin, and people thought they were crazy, and uh, paid off massively? This is the family. So they reached out to me, and they were talking about scams and how they don't like scams. I was like, hey, I also don't like scams. So I'm going to have Diddy on the, on the show at some point, and I want to talk to him about two things. First of all, how we can collaborate and make sure that everybody knows about these scams because it's not how much you make, it is how much you keep. 2021 is going to be a very big year. I think there's going to be a lot of baby boomers in here and we need to protect them as well as everybody else. That's the first thing. The second thing I want to talk to him about is I don't preach about going all in. And Diddy is the exact opposite of me. (laughs) Him and his family went 100% all in. So I want to talk to him about, first of all, why he did it. Second of all, why he did it at that time frame. And third of all, what we can take from it, because I like opposing views. This ought to be interesting. All right. So that's it for today. I really appreciate you uh, watching all the way to the end. Thanks for sticking with me. If you like these types of videos, there's going to be two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. I'll let YouTube do their magic. And that is all. So uh, enjoy your Sunday. Really thanks uh, again for watching the whole thing. See you on the next one.